this is me just testing out the Irony's spin time, Iron JPX's spin time. Um, I'm using a full length blueprint string, so usually I cut the blueprint string just a little bit, but for the sake of this, I just want a little bit of a longer string to like fully rip it out and see what the yo-yo can do. So I'll go ahead and throw this and we'll see how long it goes for. I'll be timing it on my watch. So three, two, one, go. All right, time starts now. <sighs> Yeah, this is this is gonna take a while, like a really long time. So I'm gonna like put this in the corner, and I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the review. Hey guys, how's it going? So, what did I just receive in the mail? Boom! Oh, package from Word, and I'm really excited to open up and check it out. So, like, this is just spur of the moment thing. I got the thing right now. So, like, yeah. Boom, let's just check it out, all right? So, in the package, we have just that. And then we have a couple yo-yos and some bubble wrap. Whoa. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call this one, right? Backup, I'm gonna that, all right. Oh, this badass, can't rip sticky tape. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Ooh, awesome. Got some nice pads that I'll be probably reviewing soon. Um, they look a little bit different to the generic ones. I think they've redesigned the blueprint a little bit, so I'll test those out soon. Ooh, and okay, let's take a look at this. Irony JPX, Carlos Braun edition, gold version. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The new Irony JP. Um, it looks very similar to the previous one, but I can definitely feel right now, like, I haven't even thrown it yet, but it feels a lot lighter in my hand. And um, it's got these really nice um, rims here. I mean, I think that's just um, machining, actually. I don't think that's a metal rim, but eh, who knows? So, all right. Let's, I'm gonna go play with this, check it out, and I'll give you my thoughts later. All right, so have the yo-yo right here, just put the string on it, and yeah, that's way too long. So probably gonna have to shorten this to about like, I guess in here. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out what my actual string length was, and you know, a lot of people these days are using really long strings. I just, I don't know, it's not my type, not my style, can't use it, so. I'm still one of those guys that shortens the string, pretty short, so one, I don't hit the ground, and two, I can control the yo-yo. Alright, string is cut, just leave that there for now, and let's see how the yo-yo plays. Ooh, that's very nice and smooth, nice, wow, it must be a very nice bearing inside here, I can barely hear it. So one thing I've noticed straight away is that there's a lot less rim weight on this irony as of the previous models and it just makes it very, very light. Um, let's see how it goes with this. Wow. <laughs> the anodization is nice and fresh and it allows me to finger grind, horizontal finger grind very well. But then, you know, let's just try normal finger grinds. Yeah, so <laughs> this yo-yo hasn't been opened up, or if it has been, it's still very smooth at the moment. So, yeah, hasn't been wrecked by my careless assembling. Alright, let's see how this goes for a little play. Wow, that was a long combo and it handled that beautifully. So, it's nice, I'll say, it's very, very nice. And it's definitely a lot lighter than um, the JP2013. It feels more like 
a it feel, it's like between the two models actually so the JP 2013 was um, it was a lot more stable and a lot a bit heavier than the um, previous ironies but then a lot of people said oh you know it's a little too heavy I personally didn't mind it so I think this is why they made this word made this so this is it's like it's got the stability of the <clears throat> JP 2013 but the weight or the feel on the string of the 2012 but it feels weird because it doesn't it feels as if the weight is distributed really evenly so it doesn't have a heavy thud when I throw it so it's light and it just it's light and stable so yeah this is my first time playing with it so I don't know I kind of sound like I'm rambling here but those are, this is my take on it Whoa. Irony JPX, what are my thoughts on it? Okay, so the first thing that um, I realized was that um, the Irony JPX, it actually doesn't have metal rims, okay? It looks like it does, but these aren't actually metal rims. These are, it's pretty much just kind of similar to um, what Gentry Stein did to the shutter. So literally they just satined it and they did, um, a, it looks very glossy and um, shiny at the rims, but really it's just, um, removing the anodization and the paint off there. So the yo-yo doesn't actually have metal rims and what I found was that it plays very very similar to um, the Irony JP 2013 which is actually kind of how I, why I like it, okay? So this is kind of like a history to like how the um, Irony developed. So um, Word released the Irony JP, right? Which was a slightly heavier, slightly more flared out version of the Irony GBA. Um, Guilty by association, right? And then what happened was they thought, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tweak this a little bit. So what they did was they got rid of the, the star to make it better for finger grinds, and then they just made it a little bit heavier, um, widened it a little bit, and then you have the Irony JP 2013, right? Now both yo-yos, even though there are minor tweaks, they're very very similar, right? But the one thing I found about the two is that the weight distribution is very different. So this, while it's a little bit heavier, this is a lot lighter, and I think it spins a little bit longer, the Irony JP2012, okay? So this, the, um, the advantage to having this weight distribution and being a little bit hev heavier was that the Irony JP2012, uh, 2013, was a lot more stable, okay? So it was really, really stable, and I really liked it because I do um, pretty fast tricks, and even though you'd think light yo-yos are better for fast tricks, you'd prefer stability, so when you land a yo-yo on a dodgy string or something like that, it's a little bit more forgiving and you're less likely to screw up and make your yo-yo go haywire. So that's what one thing I really liked about the JP2012, right? And then what they did with the Irony JPX was they were like, well, what if we made this lighter but tried to keep the stability, right? And I think they were really successful, Word was really successful in doing that. So what I found is that the Irony JPX is kind of like a merging of the two. So it's light like the JP2012, uh, but it's also stable like the J, uh, JP2013. And I think that has made it really, really awesome in terms of yo-yoing. So, um, in essence, it's really just a lighter JP2012, uh, 2013. And I find that it's really, really awesome for all the tricks that I would like to do. Um, Honestly, I can say that I love it. It's probably going to be my new competition year for 2015, 2014, yeah, 2015. And um, I'm, I'm hoping to get, you know, probably another one just in case, you know, I knock this one up on the stage. So, yeah, um, I'm not really sure where it's being sold at the moment. Um, the thing about Word is that they're a little bit um, slow with distribution. So, I think Yo-Yo Rewind has a couple of um, JPXs. Um, I know Yo-Yo Shop doesn't have it yet, so... Um, take a look around, I'd seriously recommend it, and I'm not really sure about what the price is, but like, go and get yourself one, it's a really, really awesome addition to the Irony Collection. Alright, and that's nine minutes, boom, okay, um, there we go, whoops, is that, can you see that? Yeah, um, nine minutes and I think, let's go eight seconds, because it took me two seconds to start it, so... There we go, spin time.